So this poem is talking about a nature preserve. And it says, a town has a nature preserve with a rectangular field already that measures 600 by 400 meters. So the town wants to double the area of the field by adding land as uh, shown. So that's what the X added on to the length and width is, that additional land. So I want you to find the dimensions of the field with this new land added on. So you guys know that to find the area, you take length times width. So in this particular problem, it's saying that we are going to double the area of the field. We're trying to figure out what dimensions we need to be able to do that though. But if the current area is 400 by 600, if we're doubling it, all we're going to do is multiply the current area by 2. So whatever 400 times 600 is, that's the current area. Now doubled will be this new area of land. And we know that the new dimensions are going to be 400 plus that extra x value. So x plus 400 is going to be the new width. And 600 plus x, or x plus 600, is going to be the new length. So what we have to do is just multiply everything out and get this equation equal to 0 so that we can factor it now when it's equal to 0 and find your new value of x. So 400 times 600, 4 times 6 is 24 with the four zeros. So 240,000 times two. Which would be 480,000. Equals x plus 400 times x plus 600. So x times x is x squared. 400 times 600 we just said was 240,000. And 400 plus 600 is 100 or 1,000. X. Okay, so let me just push, scoot this in here. So x squared plus 1,000x plus 240,000. So I'm going to subtract my 480 because we said in order to, for us to be able to factor this, our equation has to be equal to 0. So we get 0 equals x squared plus 1,000x. And 240 minus 480 gives us negative 240,000. So, yes, there's a lot of zeros here that we're trying to factor. But what you guys can do is cut four zeros off of each value. So if you cut four zeros off, you're only trying to figure out what multiplies to get you 24 and then adds to get you 10. So when we factor this, x squared will just be x and x. But what's going to add to get us a thousand twelve hundred minus two hundred. Twelve times two is twenty-four, and our four zeros four zeros gives us two hundred forty thousand. So if we take those two factors, we just got x plus 1,200, set it equal to 0, and x minus 200, set it equal to 0. We get our two x values to be negative 
1200 and x equals positive 200. So if we're trying to find this dimension for x, we're talking about distance and meters here. We can't have a negative 1200 meters. So 200 meters is the added um, distance for each dimension. So the new dimensions for the field are going to be 400 plus 2 and 600 plus 2. So the new dimensions Four hundred plus two is six hundred, and six hundred plus two hundred is eight hundred. So six hundred by eight hundred meters. Now for number six, it asks you guys to find the zeros of the function by rewriting it in intercept form. So all it wants you guys to do is just another one of those things where we talked about us calling the solution a different thing. That's what it's asking for when it says zeros. So what you guys will do is make your y zero and you'll factor just like you guys did in the previous problems. It's just that y becomes zero. And that literally puts it in intercept form for you guys to be able to factor it and solve. 